Here's a quick and easy one to do. I often find myself needing to smooth an entire model evenly. Now you could just get a really big brush and smooth over everything, but that can be uneven. So let's see how to do it faster and more precisely. Now there's a lot of reasons why you might want to do this, but in this case, let's say that you've applied a texture to the entire surface of the model, and it's just a little bit too rough. So I'm going to zoom in here so we can really get a sense for this. And you can see it's just rough all over. So before I apply the smoothing, I'm actually going to start recording a macro so I can apply the smoothing in the same way in the future very easily. So let's go to macro, new macro, and we just want to ignore this recommendation and hit no instead of yes. Okay, to apply the smoothing, let's go to the deformation sub palette and just go to smooth and crank this all the way to the right. I find that even the maximum amount of smoothing is a pretty minor effect. Now we can just go to macro and end macro. And let's save it. I'm going to save it to the ZBrush installation folder. So on Windows, it's Program Files x86, Pixelogic, ZBrush, Z Startup, Macros, MISC. And let's save this as Smooth. OK, so if we want to apply more passes of that smoothing, we could just hit smooth several times. You can see every time we hit this, it just smooths a little bit more. I actually use this a lot, so I'm going to save it to a hotkey. Just hold down Control, Alt, and click on Smooth. And I like to use the hotkey Shift S for this. Pretty easy to remember, since you use the Shift key for smoothing anyway, and S stands for smooth. Just hitting Shift S a few times here on the keyboard, and you can see it's getting smoother every time. Okay, there you have it. Pretty simple. Just a basic trick I use all the time.